Thank you so much, Linda, for those um, fantastic remarks. Our next speaker is a powerhouse HRC Youth Ambassador and good friend, Joseph Reed. Joseph is an 18-year-old, oh, let me fix this, I'm a little tall. Joseph is an 18-year-old cisgender bisexual male from San Berne Bernito? Bernardino. Bernardino, thank you, California, so sorry. He is a high school student with ambitions in performing arts and medical fields. Joseph has become a positive role model and advocate for the LGBTQ youth, excuse me, LGBTQ community by supporting his LGBTQ plus peers, presenting to school districts, boards, and leadership on the importance of supporting LGBTQ youth, and, excuse me, I'm going fast, and was invited to speak at the annual conference for California Association of School Counselors. Yeah, let's give it up for him. Please join me in welcoming HRC Youth Ambassador Joseph Reed. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Time to Thrive. How's everybody doing today? You having a good time? Yes, yes. I can't tell you how excited I am to be up here today. So as you may know, my name is Joseph Reed. I'm 18 years old, and I'm from San Bernardino, California. I'm a senior in high school, and I will graduate this June. I identify as a bisexual African-American male, and my pronouns are he, him, his. Some people think that being bisexual is not a real thing or that it's just a phase. To me, bisexuality is not a choice between being gay or being straight. It means that I have the ability to love a person no matter what their gender or sexual identity. Yes, yes. In spite of what people might say, it doesn't mean that a person is promiscuous either. I choose to love one person for who they are, period. For most of my life, I've lived with my mom and my sister, and I live with them now and they've always been my strongest support system. It was always easy to be open and comfortable around them. After attending Time to Thrive last year and deciding that I wanted to pursue becoming a youth ambassador, I decided that I needed to come up to my mom. Well, that didn't go exactly as I expected. <laughs> I said, Mom, I have something to tell you. My mom opened the door before I did. She looked at me and she said, you know I told your grandmother and your auntie, so you're a little late with the news. <laughs> and she said it proudly. I truly believe I am blessed, and I consider myself to be a very resilient person. Over the past few years, my living situations have been a bit rocky. My family and I lost our apartment when I was 14, and I have had a variety of living situations. For most of last year, I was homeless and couch surfing. As a result, I have struggled with my grades and schooling. I had to get a job to help support myself, and that resulted in changing my school schedule. I was always jumping around, and I had to pay where I stayed. My grades went from A's and B's to C's, D's, and F's. My attendance plummeted, and my hopes of one day walking across the graduation stage began to fade. This experience is more common than you might think for LGBTQ youth. <laughs> LGBTQ young adults have 120% higher risk of homelessness compared to the youth who identify as straight and cisgender. In addition, estimates show that LGBTQ youth makes up about 40% of homeless population, even though we make up 5 to 10% of the overall population. Luckily, my principal, counselor, and other staff members noticed me and supported me. One staff member in particular, Jamie provided me with the supplies that I desperately needed to push on in my schooling. Now, my grades are back up, exceeding credits where I need to be, and I will graduate in June. Yes. I was so excited to be invited by my school district to attend last year's Time to Thrive conference in Anaheim. As soon as I got there and I started meeting people, I felt amazingly welcome and comfortable to be myself. If you were there last year, you may remember a young man doing cartwheels down the aisle, 
at the beginning of a general session. Yeah, well, that was me. <laughs> Being there inspired me to take action and get more involved. Now here I am, one year later, as a youth ambassador. <laughs> I am thrilled that I have enjoyed amazing support from more than just my family. My friends always kept things positive and open-minded. They didn't have to think about it. They knew who I am and accept and support me for being me. I know now that they will always have my back. I know I am more fortunate than many of my LGBTQ peers who have little or no support from family, friends, or their schools. I have to tell you that I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the staff in the Youth Services Department at my school district. The staff there have always gone out their way to assist me and inspire me in too many ways to mention here. A few amazing people, Mickey Chahusky, Patty Taylor, Karen Seward, and Jill Catlin, even made sure that they were here today to support me. Where are you guys at? I am grateful for all the opportunities given to me. I know that even with all the support I have, it is up to me to make the change and be the person they see in me. My future plans are to go to college and become an EMT and paramedic. I think this is being videoed, and I hope so, because I'm making a promise to myself. I will excel. I will be a voice for the LGBTQ plus community and for those who are less fortunate and can't speak up for themselves. Now, I'd like to ask all of you to make a promise. Will you all promise to take action for the young people in your life when you get back to work next week? Will you make sure that LGBTQ youth feel seen Heard, loved, and affirmed? Yes. Will you stand up against all forms of oppression, sexism, racism, biphobia, xenophobia, and other forms of bigotry? Yes. Then stand up. <laughs> stand up for kids like me. Stand up for all of those who can't stand up or stand out. Yes, I see you and I thank you. I thank you for being that supportive adult for the youth you serve. You can be the life-changing adult like those I've been so fortunate to be surrounded by. Thank you all for being here today. <laughs> it is because of your support that kids like me can stand up, stand out, stand proud, and stand loud. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Be safe and enjoy the rest of your time in D.C. and here at Time to Thrive. Peace out. <laughs>